Welcome to Teacher PD. I'm John Van Dusen, and today we're talking Pear Deck. As classroom teachers, we all want to be in the classroom. However, in 2020, that's not always possible. Here at Kingsford, we were face-to-face -to, -face to start, and then we went virtual for a few weeks, back to face-to-face, -to -face, back to virtual, and now I am currently sitting in the basement because I had close contact with someone with coronavirus. So now I'm quarantined and I'm teaching from my basement while my students are in school. If you're anything like me, it's all about engagement with your students. When we're in the classroom, it's very easy to engage with them in conversation, with jokes, uh, hand gestures, but while we're virtual, it's very, very difficult. And that's where Pear Deck comes in. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to get Pear Deck for Google Slides, how to use it, and some of the different tools you can use to engage your students even through a computer screen. Let's get started. The first thing I want to show you how to do is actually put Pear Deck so it's an add-on with your Google Slides. To do that, it's super simple. All you need to do is open up any Google Slideshow that you have. This one is for a parent breakfast that we had at the school. You go along the top here to where it says add-ons, and when you click on add-on, I already have it so it's here, but you see get add-ons. When you click on that, there's actually all kinds of neat add-ons that you can use with Google Slides. Uh, if it's not up at the top, you can go into search apps and just type in Pear Deck. But since I already have it, you click on there. Then once you have it, you'll notice that nothing changed on my screen. When you open up your slideshow, you need to go to add-ons and you'll see that the add-on is right here and you can open the Pear Deck add-on. When you click on that, you're going to see that a kind of a dashboard comes up on the right hand side with all different types of things that you can do. I would like to point out that Pear Deck does have a free version as well as a paid version. Some of the features I'll be showing you come with the paid version as our administration purchased Pear Deck for the entire school district. Now that we have Pear Deck open on our Google slide, we can come over here and there's two different types of slides we can add. We can add from the template library, which I'll show you here. And they have beginning, during, end of lesson, critical thinking, SEL, example questions, or all different types of things. We're gonna to go to the beginning of the lesson since we're at the beginning of the slideshow. And we're gonna see that we have different options for entering different types of slides. We have a text slide. So we'll enter that in just so we can see what it looks like. But when you click on it, it automatically puts it into the slideshow with everything you need to engage your students. So this question right here says, as you come in and get settled, follow these instructions. Now you can adjust these slides however you want. And in the Pear Deck, which I'll show you later as it opens on the student screen, they have the option to answer this question. You can see down here it says Pear Deck interactive slide, do not remove this bar. And then there is some text down here that explains that this is a text slide asking the students to do different things. So there's text slides. We'll enter this slide as well, just to show you how it works. This is a drawing slide. So students will be able to draw anywhere on the slide. And again, you can change the prompt for what you want them to draw. Now in the premium version, there's also a draggable slide where they have the option to drag an icon and you can pick which type of icon. But in this case, it's drag the icon uh, on how was the homework assignment. And again, you can change all of these. So those are the base templates for Pear Deck. And I will be sharing a slideshow with you at the end that you can take with you and basically to practice. But this is super simple. That's all there is to adding templated slides. The templated slides are great, especially if you're just starting with Pear Deck and you already have some Google Slides, you just want to add a little engagement to. So those templated slides are great, but I'm going to show you how to ask your own questions using Pear Deck. So back in the slideshow, I want to ask my own question. I don't want a templated slide. So I'm simply going to add a new slide and I'm going to write the question out. What are your thoughts on having pizza for breakfast. Now, there's several different ways we can engage the students with this. 
Uh, I'm going to actually duplicate this slide a few times to show you the different ways we can engage them. So on this slide right here, I'm going to come over to the right hand side of the dashboard and I'm just going to click text. And all it's going to do is it's going to add text response for this question. And again, I will show you in a second what it looks like for the students. But now the students can write in an answer of what their thoughts are on having pizza for breakfast. And that is a text version. So now I'm going to go to this side and I'm going to make this a multiple choice question. So it gives me the different options. I'm going to say it's amazing. Option B will be it's okay. And option C says gross. You can tell I'm a social studies teacher based by the uh, responses in there. So now I'm going to update the slide. And now when this slide pops up on the student's device, they're going to have the option to answer it as a multiple choice question. So now that I've shown you how to add slides to your Google Slides using Pear Deck, I'm going to open up a different presentation and this presentation will be available down in the show notes so that you have it for yourself. If there's something you forget, you can use it as a guide. I'm actually going to be answering these questions and I'll also flip back and forth to the student view so that you can see what you would see as a teacher as well as how it looks on the students devices while it's being projected on the screen. Now you can see I have a different presentation open and again this one will be available down in the show notes in case you need a reminder of how things work. I had just opened the slide deck so I go to add-ons, Pear Deck for Google Slide add-ons. I'm going to open it, the Pear Deck add-on and again this presentation is going to or this dashboard is going to come up on the right hand side and I simply say start lesson. Now this could be a completely different video but you can also do student based if you are working in an asynchronous environment. We're going to choose instructor paced activity right now assuming that we're either face to face or in a synchronous environment using Zoom, Google Hangouts, Microsoft Teams, something of that sort. So when it pulls up, it's going to give you a joinpd.com as well as a code to enter the room. Now, if you're in a Google Meet or a Zoom, something with a chat function, you can give the students a link. When you click on this, it will copy it, and then you can simply put it in. If you have no way of chatting or if it's not working for the students, they can go to joinpd.com and enter in this code. So while students are logging into the Pear Deck, you can keep track in the bottom left-hand corner. Right now I have stu two students connected. So in the premium version, you can open the teacher dashboard or you can simply click start lesson and then go from there. In the free version, you do not have access to the teacher dashboard. So I'm gonna open the teacher dashboard just to show you how that works. And as that happens, it's gonna open up the slide for the students on their device. Now something really neat is that you can open up the dashboard on a separate device, either on your phone or on an iPad, so you can actually walk around the room while seeing their answers in real time, while being able to control the slideshow. So right now I just have it on my computer. I got it, so close the join code and here we go. Right now the students are seeing this slide right here. Now I have skipped through a handful of them just so we can get to the good stuff. All right, so let's go to the next slide. And right now it's waiting for a response. And this is a multiple choice question. Do you feel comfortable sharing right now? So I'm going to wait for the students' responses. And you can see that as they come in in real time, I'm going to see them. And if I want to know who they are, I can click on it. And since I'm the one on both of these presentations, it says me, but it'll tell you who is absolutely please call on me and who is uh, okay to share right now as well as the other two thoughts. And this is one of those templated slides. I didn't make it, it was already done. So the other thing it'll do for you, let's say I, um, I want to show my responses. If I show, then it's going to show on the student device, it's gonna show how everybody else answered on the board, okay? So that's kind of a neat function. Probably wouldn't do it on this, on this one here. You can also share responses by grid layout so you can see each individual. Um, so that's really neat. And I will show you that again in another slide. So here we go, here's another one. This is a text slide and it gives them a choice to answer. 
So you can see one of us has written in IDK and someone else is going to ask, how does this work? And again, I can see who made these answers and something else really neat. Um, if you do want to share responses, but you don't want to share them all, you can star or unstar certain responses. So I'm going to star this response. So when I show responses, it will only show the ones that I have marked. And also, if you have a student that maybe gives an answer you're not too sure about, you can leave feedback. You can send them a message. And when you send feedback, it'll go just to that student. Okay, so now that student has the feedback of, hey, maybe try a little harder on this next one. All right, so let's go to the next slide. And this is a drawing slide and it's asking me to circle how I feel. So again, it's looking for those responses. And here comes one right now. You can see they go like that. I like to do the grid response. You can get kind of a basic idea how everybody's feeling. All right, and again, it shows you who made those answers in real time so that you can see who's doing okay and who's not. And I have a really great slide that I found that I'll show you in a little bit. Um, actually, it's gonna be next. So here, this is a draggable slide. Again, this is not available in the free version. Um, it is available in the free 30-day trial. So if your school does decide to go virtual for say a couple of weeks and you get the 30-day um, trial, this is an option along with the teacher dashboard. So this is just asking students to drag a bar along and it will mark it on the chart or on the graph. So another, I like to show it this way where it shows everybody's answers, but nobody is really um, singled out. But you can go in grid view or you can go in full screen view to see how your students are doing. There's so much more I could show you about Pear Deck. We literally just scratched the surface. If you got some value out of this video, please hit like. You can also go down in the show notes and grab those Google Slides and use them as a guide, building your own Pear Deck. If you have any questions I can help you with, or if you have your own Pear Deck successes, please leave them down below in the comments. Until next time, thanks for coming to Teacher PD.